Example 3. How long will it take a $2,500 investment to triple if the amount in the annual interest is 6% if compounded monthly or continuously? If you think you know how to do this problem, go ahead, pause the video, and try to do it on your own right now. If not, I'll set you up with a couple steps, and then you'll be able to solve it on your own. So first of all, let's write down our formula for compound interest. So if you're going to compound anything that's not continuous, you're going to use this formula. So this is compounded not continuously. And the formula to compound continuously is A equals A naught times E to the RT. So this formula is if you're going to compound continuously. It's also important to point out what we're trying to get with our final A value. So how much money are we trying to get to? 100. Our A not value, the original amount invested, is 2500 And then for part A, we're going to compound monthly. And so K is going to equal 12. And then for the continuous one, you don't need K. So go ahead, try solving these on your own. So we're going to compound monthly. And we all know that there are 12 months in a year. So, this is 7,500 is equal to 2,500 times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 times 12t, where 12 is the number of months in a year, and the 0 0.06 is your interest rate. So now we're just going to solve that. We're going to divide both sides by 2,500, and we get 3 is equal to 1.005 12t. So now you take the ln of both sides, ln of 1.0012t, and on, because of ln properties, we can move the exponent to the front, ln of 1.005. So now you divide both sides by ln of 1.005 equals 12t, divide both sides by 12. And you get, this is ln of 3 divided by 12 ln 1.005, which when you put into a calculator, you get t is about 18.355 years. So what this means is that if you compound $2,500 monthly with 6% interest, it'll take you about 18 and a quarter years to get to 7,500. Now let's look at if we compound continuously. So if we compound continuously, our formula is A of T is equal to A naught E to the RT. So 7,500 is equal to 2,500 E to the 0 0.06 T. 3 is equal to E 0 0.06 T. Take the ln of both sides. So you get ln of 3 is equal to 0.06t because ln of e is 1. So t is equal to ln of 3 divided by 0 0.06, which works out to be about 18.31 years. So compounding continuously will always yield a faster result.